morning and welcome back to the vlog. It's Saturday morning and I'm in the hotel room here in the Isle of Man. Let's see what we can see out the window. Couldn't really see yesterday when we arrived. Oh, there's a fire escape. <laughs> Nothing that exciting, but some nice greenery to look at. We will shortly be going to breakfast. Oh, my boyfriend's just come out of the shower. I was trying to sneak a bit of vlogging in. It's all right, I'm not pointing at you or the mirror. You can come past. Oh, you want to come this way? <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, lighting issues. Dear me, Ivy, look at this state. <laughs> no, I was just like, I'm trained to prep in the most genuinely clean it. Oh, that's where my pillow went. I was looking for that. I'm exporting a vlog, of course. What do you do when you wake up in the morning when you're a vlogger? Start exporting a vlog. I need to get some clothes on that's not pyjamas. I'm going to have my shower after breakfast because I've left it too late, basically. I'll see who at breakfast. Down. It's like a little bit of a warren. Loads and loads of stairs to go down. The food in the restaurant last night, oh my gosh, it was so good. I only had simple fish and chips, but they did it so well. And the fish just you know, literally melted in your mouth. Right, last bit. We've been seated at a table with two of our friends here and have a quick look at the menu. Yeah, I just wonder whether we, uh, we chip in. Uh, they ran out of mushrooms, but luckily there's a like self-service bar with cereal and things, so if I'm still hungry, I'll have that. Bit of fruit and yogurt. It's emptying out a bit in here now. We can film some of it. Nice view of the sea through the window there. We're gonna go there shortly. I'm gonna have a shower first though and then get out and have a walk along the beach. I've left earlier than everybody else they're still chatting but basically I'm gonna get on and have my shower now oh dear I think I might need a little tidy up in here we've left the hotel and we're walking down to the seafront Hi. there's some lovely big waves crashing we're gonna go that way for ages yeah. aren't we and then we're gonna come back and go that way I think we can no, come back pick up our instruments and go and play then another half mile that way but right now it's about having a look see what's here it will include trams I'm being told. Yeah. Ivy likes the buttressing. I'd better point that out for the engineering minded people. Look at the size of it. Oh, it's a massive buttress. Does my buttress <laughs> look big in this? <laughs> I it's not a buttress. Isn't it? But it's serving the same purpose. Oh, right, okay. It's a strut. A strut, strutting its stuff. It's and crossing tram. over tram tracks. Yay! There's some massive waves crashing on the far wall over there. Well, that one looks like a prison it's so austere. I know, it is austere, that's a good word for it. It looks like it's under some sort of construction, is it? I don't yeah. know. But look at this white thing right perched on the top. Oh, sort of where? Right there, it's like a fairy tale castle. I have spotted some seaweed of interest. At first I thought it was a creature, but I don't think it is. I think it's plant life. Look, it's come off. This must have been growing at the bottom of the sea. Oh, it's really hard and knobbly. It's very alien looking, isn't it? Yeah. Hollow. Oh, interesting, isn't it? I'd be wanting to walk on the prom, don't you, rather than the hard work of the beach terrain. I quite like the beach terrain. One of my first impressions here of the Isle of Man, and I haven't been here very long and seen very much yet, but how tall the buildings are. So many stories. IB has counted seven above ground on those hotels there. We think they're hotels anyway. It's not cold, is it? It's quite mild. I've got my coat on and I need my coat, but yeah, it's not raining. Fingers crossed it stays not raining because I've left my umbrella in the hotel room. There's quite a bit of cloud cover mine, so let's see how that goes. drawn tram We've just been stood reading some of the information on that very informative toilet block there it was about there having been an internment camp here during the first world war we didn't read the other side actually there's a bit about the second world war there about Polish people and Jewish people being interned, what the conditions were like, and they got bored. They were going dotty with boredom, as you might imagine, so they actually laid on some entertainment for them, but all in all, it's a bit grim.
birds have been having a bit of a feeding frenzy out of the seaweed. I don't know what they've been eating. They've stopped now, of course, because I've got the camera out. I'm not very good at identifying birds, you know. I noticed. And terrible, in fact, even common ones. Like Better with plants. And over there, we've got the most enormous crashing waves. And this isn't even a rough day. Of course, it's not doing it now. We've had some real massive ones splashing up onto the paving. I'm not sure if I've even mentioned this, but we're in Douglas in the Isle of Man. And I think this is Douglas Beach. And I'm just popping down here because I want to have a look at the waves. Oh, I thought I could smell something. Dead crab. I won't zoom in too close. I'll be putting you all off your whatever you're nibbling on, if you're nibbling on anything or your cup of coffee. This is like slime fest. <laughs> I do really love walking on beaches because they're just so incredibly stimulating. Like the smells, the sounds, the textures. There's so many different textures. And like the breeze as well, it's always changing all the time. It's, you feel very alive on a beach, well I do anyway. Unless it's a boring beach and it's just sand and it's hot and that's all. <laughs> I like these ones. Look at these funny protrusions. Is that embedded in there? Yeah, I think I was actually growing in there. There's some kind of grace and majesty in that from this distance anyway. Probably if I was on the other side of the railings, I wouldn't be thinking grace and majesty. I'd be thinking, Ugh. I'm going to go catch up with my boyfriend now. He's sitting comfortably on a bench on the prom, just enjoying the sights, sounds and scenery and probably looking at his phone. <laughs> There's quite a strong smell on the beach, like slightly going off smell. I think it's the rotting seaweed actually, and the odd dead crab. Tiny bit of Isle of Man sea glass for Alison. Lovely. That's my sea glass pouch that is in there. We're coming up along here now, along the prom, to where those waves are all splashing over. Oh look, maybe we shouldn't be walking here, I because it's pretty wet. Look, it goes right across almost to the road. Oh, the drama. You love a bit of excitement. You well, love a bit as well. well, I mean, you know, it would make a great vlog if a huge wave was to come over and completely well, saturate you me. What you wish for because this one's coming. Oh, oh, look, it's doing that over there. Nah, it's not coming here, look, oh, the strength has gone out of it. I love the way the rocks are carved away by erosion there. The layers, you know, between the softy bits. Wet. <laughs> Wet, puddly pavement. I'd be just standing right by the, the fence gate. <laughs> Did you get wet then? That was the desired effect. What, making me squeal? Oh no! Oh, it's a poor kid on her scooter just got absolutely soaked over there. It's the ones that... Oh! <laughs> I was going to say, that's a bit more. It's the ones that don't break and they just slap against the side. I think those are the ones that cause the most dramatic effect. The minute I walk away, it's going to do it. Oh, yeah, there we are. <laughs> Right, I'd better go and join my other half. Derby Castle Manx Electric Railway. What is that then? Oh, <laughs> the sign's all blown about in the wind. I presume it's the tramway. It's the most unusual looking shed, isn't it? Um, IB was just telling me there's a huge water wheel here, which we're hoping to see at some point. But right in front of us, we've got the Douglas Bay Horse Tramway. I'm going to tiptoe over the rails and just poke my nose in that building and see what the score is. Horse poo. Don't see that a lot these days, do you? I bet the streets used to be filled with it. Ooh. I suppose I'd better not go in. I'll ask, see if it's uh, like a museum or something. I asked the guy in there, such a friendly guy. He said it's not open to the public, it's a, like a workshop, a working workshop. But I am welcome to go and poke my nose through the door. He said, please don't go in far. And I said, can I film? And he said, yeah, sure. That's why I was very excited. I'm clapping my hands with glee, as you can imagine. We're allowed to have a, a look around the door, but it's, it's not open to the public. I'm just telling my boyfriend he's coming over. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I wonder how old they are. Double decker one there, open top, but that was a bit chilly in the winter. It's so exciting. I think even IB's taking photos, look. 
You're taking a photo of the roof. Yeah, I've got to build a building. I just need to... Oh, look, there's a nice roller door there. You can have a look at that as well. <laughs> Pop round to the other door now, just taking a couple of steps in. Look, I'm intrigued by this sort of underground bit here, so you can get in and work on the underside of the tram. So cool. Oh, I feel so lucky right now. <laughs> just gonna maybe do a little bit of this. Oh. Well, after all that excitement, we're heading back to the hotel now. We're going to pick up our instruments and get out and do some playing with the people that we've come to be with. Our stable's here. I can smell a very horsey smell coming out of it. Not unexpected. Oh, it's something tourists can do, actually. Meet the trammers, visit the horses, learn about their lives, explore the stables and discover the story of Douglas Bay Horse Tramway. Anyway, going back now. I'm just grabbing some tea bags from the spa. They don't have decaf, so I'll just have calf while we're on holiday. They have got Alpro. IB just doesn't like it. Um, yeah, 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 he wants the non-sweetened. See what I can find. He's just gonna have to have it. It's um, two pound. Whoops. We're back in the hotel room. I've just been scoffing crackers and cheese because I didn't eat enough breakfast, basically. I could have, I could have gone and got myself cereal from the self-service bit. I could have had toast, didn't fancy it at the time anyway. Worked up an appetite with that little stroll. The maids have been in, they've done a lovely job, made all the beds, they've topped up the tea and coffee supplies. Look and put it all neat. These are ours that we bought. They've put all new milks there. Um, tea. I had a Horlicks last night and I came back earlier than everybody else and I was in here at, I don't know, midnight or something like that. And I made a cup of Horlicks and the powder went up my nose. <sighs> And I just couldn't stop sneezing. I sneezed and sneezed and sneezed. And even after I went to bed, after I'd drunk the Horlicks, I was still sneezing. And I was lying in bed, still sneezing in the darkness. So I got up. And to my great delight, they had a box of tissues here. And I thought, that's a really nice touch. And another really nice touch. So there's water in the fridge. And Ibis just got one out. There were two. They replaced one because I had one last night as well. So we're on foot to the session now. And I won't film much of it, I don't suppose. I doubt I'm going to film much of any of the actual music sessions because I don't know the people very well. And it's a bit rude to film them <laughs> and stick it on YouTube. But I might. We'll see. Sometimes I film people and then ask them afterwards. And if they say okay, then they include it. And if not, I don't. Here it is. O'Donnell's. And there's a music session going on right now. They're playing. It's like a chessboard floor. Mm, look what magically appeared. Sandwiches. Oh yeah, yeah. Me hungry. We've come out for a walk. We were hours and hours playing tunes, but look at this clock. Look at that creativity that's gone into that. Oh, there's a flipping reflection on the window. That is so cool, though. There. Look, you can see it better now. Anyway, that was a really nice little session. There were mostly about eight of us in that one because we started a second session because the one that was already there when we arrived was massive. And when they get too big, like one person starts a tune all the way across the room and you can't hear them properly. And then sometimes it can end up getting out of time because we just can't all hear each other. It gets a bit raggly taggly. But anyway, that one didn't because it was a nice little one and everyone was a really tidy player in it, weren't they? Oh, look, the Bee Gees are coming. <laughs> Staying alive, staying alive. He's got very silvery lips. I'm suspicious. I think people have been going in for a kiss myself. Why are the Bee Gees here? Oh, they were born here, apparently. There's a very pretty little park here. Oh, I wonder if this is the stop water coming through. I bet it is. Oh, look how far the tide is out now compared to earlier when it was sloshing up against the walls. You can still see puddles here from where it must have been doing it earlier. We didn't notice it, but look, there is a castle on a little island all on its own. 
we've come down onto the beach and it's just nice and peaceful there's hardly anybody here there's a load of water coming out there it looks fresh i don't know if it is it's lovely and clear anyway you can see straight through it to the pebbles below having a peaceful and serene moment we are the plan for the rest of the day is we're going to go back to the hotel room first of all have a cup of tea with the milk and tea bags that we bought have a bit of a rest he's going to have a sleep and i'm going to work on my vlog for a bit and then after that at 7 30 we're meeting in a restaurant with all the guys and we're having a meal laid on for us which is a real treat and then after that we do more playing probably it's a bit um wet underfoot <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm gonna get make it back with dry shoes these are water resistant not waterproof we're back at the hotel room it's about quarter past five now because i've filmed a lot today and because for the rest of the day we're going to be in company and it's going to be awkward to film i'm going to end the vlog here but thank you so much for watching it could you please give it a like if you liked it and i'll see you in the next video bye